Now to machine this 3D relief, what we need to do is select toolpaths and then select under 3D toolpaths to create a machine relief toolpath. So if we select that, opens up the dialog box and at the very top it says area to machine, the whole of the relief. You can let ArtCam automatically create a boundary so it will find the edge of this and automatically create a boundary for you. You can set it to use any of the layers, the vector layers as a boundary, or you can click selected vectors. So that would be useful if you had the vectors on and you just wanted to limit it to that area within that vector. What I'm going to do is just do the whole relief for this example. Okay, so the finishing options, if I select that, it will take me to the tool database and I would advise using a ball nose to actually finish this because it will give you a much better finish than using an end mill. So I'm going to use, let's say, a three millimeter ball nose to do this. Now you can choose whatever strategy that you like. Raster, which is the default strategy, basically comes across in X, then steps over in Y, comes back across in X. Now that's quite good on certain applications. For this particular one, as it's quite round, what I want to use is a spiral. And that basically spirals around the piece. It will give me a much better finish. Okay, I can change the step over or step down any of the parameters by selecting the actual ball nose three millimeter here. And let's change the step over. Let's make that a little bit smaller make it 0.2 millimeters. The roughing options, now this basically uses a larger tool to get rid of most of the material prior to finishing. So there's less wear and tear on your three millimeter ball nose that you're using. So if I select roughing, let's use, let's say a six millimeter and select the drop down Let's say that I want to change the step down of this or the, the actual cuts of this. So it's only going to do two millimeter cuts. I can change that there. Let's make this box a little bit larger. And the tool clearance strategy, raster is absolutely fine for this because I'm roughing the part out. The allowance is how much is going to be left on the material prior to finishing. Okay. So if I want to define the material, I can select here and the material thickness automatically works out the height of the actual relief. So let's say that I wanted it to be 25 millimeters. I can select OK. And then let's select Calculate now. This will first of all calculate the roughing toolpath and then it will calculate the finishing toolpath that you can see that it's generating now. Okay, so I can close that now. Let's rotate this around. So here you can see lots of red lines. Now, if I open up the tool paths, you can see that I've got this machine relief. And I can turn off the red preview, which is a preview of the tool paths. Just do that by selecting the light bulb. Now, if I wanted to see one of these, I could zoom in, let's say I wanted to see the finishing, I wanted to see how it went. I can do that, just turn that one on and I can see exactly how this is going. If I wanted to see the roughing, turn that off and I can just show the roughing. Now if I want to cut the part out, all that I need to do is select the outside and then do a 2D toolpath, so just create a profile toolpath. This is going to go to the depth. Select a tool. Let's say a three millimeter end mill. That's just because I don't want to have radiuses in the corners here. And then select calculate now. And you can see that it's given me this toolpath. I can turn that off by using the light bulbs. And then when I want to actually see what this is going to machine, I can either right click, simulate all tool paths, like so. 
This will give me a simulation of the roughing, then the finishing, and then the cutout. So I can check for any errors prior to actually machining this. Now, if I wanted to see each one individually, I can select the machine relief and select simulation control bar. This will actually show me the tool and it will show me how this is going to be machined. I can speed that up by using the fast forward button. And then you can see the finishing, so I can speed this up also. So this allows me to see where the tool's actually going. And then I can simulate the profile. And then finally, to delete the waste material, if I go to simulation and then select to delete the waste material, I can automatically try and delete it or I can keep the pick material. Just select this here, select automatically. And then I can change the material of this if I wished. Let's change it to, let's say light oak, like so. And there you can see my finished applique.